Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about blockchain, which is the technology behind cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, but more broadly may also increase trust in a wide range of electronic transactions. So let's go and see what it's all about. To explain the key principle behind blockchain, imagine that there are two people called Molly and Stan, and that Stan decides to give Molly his space hopper. To confirm a change of ownership, he also gives Molly a note that says, I've given Molly my space hopper. However, the next day, Stan decides that he wants the space hopper back, and claims that he never wrote the note. Molly has no means of proving that the note is not a forgery, and is very sad. Alternatively, let's imagine that, when Stan gave Molly his space hopper, he wrote a note saying, I've given Molly my space hopper, and that he sent a copy of this note to lots of other people. So here, if there's a dispute about who owns the space hopper, all of these people can confirm that it now belongs to Molly. Now, imagine that similar notes are shared over the internet every time a space hopper is exchanged, and that a secure and constantly updated database of these notes is maintained by a great many people. This makes it easy to confirm the ownership of any space hopper and turn space hopper exchange into a trusted activity. This idea of using the internet to maintain a widely shared, secure record of transactions is the fundamental principle behind blockchain. More specifically, a blockchain itself may be defined as a distributed and tamper-proof digital ledger in which each block of data is cryptographically interlinked. So, let's look in more detail at how blockchain systems work and their broader implications. Blockchain was invented in 2008 as the technology behind Bitcoin. Today, an increasing number of blockchain applications have nothing to do with Bitcoin or any other digital currency. This said, an explanation of Bitcoin provides a straightforward example of blockchain in operation. All Bitcoin transactions are recorded in a public blockchain that is very widely distributed across a great many computers. The blockchain keeps track of the Bitcoin stored in over 20 million digital wallets and is updated about every 10 minutes. If you want to buy something with Bitcoin, this requires a transfer from your digital wallet. To facilitate this, a transaction request is broadcast to all of the computers or nodes that form the Bitcoin network. Nodes on the network verify that you have the funds available and combine your transaction with others to create a new block of data. They then perform proof-of-work calculations which permanently add the block of data containing your transaction to the chain of blocks that make up the Bitcoin ledger. As you would expect, the whole system is protected with appropriate cryptography, with every transaction digitally signed in a manner that links each block to the next in the chain. The process of validating transactions and compiling new Bitcoin exchanges into blocks is known as mining. People who run Bitcoin mining software on their computers are rewarded with new Bitcoins for the computational time that they invest in operating the network. To control how rapidly new Bitcoins are created, the difficulty of the proof-of-work calculations that miners have to solve is automatically adjusted as the network grows. Because blockchain users place their trust in its network, they don't have to rely on traditional financial and legal institutions to maintain the integrity of their accounts and to verify transactions. The storage and exchange of money using a blockchain-based currency therefore happens in complete isolation from banks and governments. Money is transferred peer-to-peer -peer between individuals, with no bank being paid a fee. The creation and supply of the currency is also not controlled by government, and neither a government or a bank can impose restrictions on transactions or freeze an account. Because of the way in which a blockchain network operates, no data is ever destroyed. Rather, new transactions are compiled into new data blocks that are timestamped and added to the end of the chain. As a result, blockchain systems provide a permanent chronological audit trail for every transaction that has ever occurred. Due to the fact that a blockchain ledger is shared and constantly synchronised across a great many computers, it cannot be altered retrospectively. There is also no single potential point of failure in a blockchain network, and no individual file for a hacker to attack. 
Indeed, anyone trying to corrupt or steal from a blockchain would have to rewrite its entire history. For all of these reasons, blockchain has the potential to revolutionise a very wide range of digital transactions. Already the technology is being applied not just to create cryptocurrencies, but to facilitate the creation and exchange of smart contracts and smart financial bonds. In time, blockchain may also be used to create secure and trusted company accounts, sales records, HR, medical and educational records, digital voting systems and certificates of authentication. Some now believe that blockchain will revolutionise electronic transactions in the same way that the internet transformed human communication. Over the past 20 years, the exchange of information has undoubtedly been transformed, but not yet the exchange of value. This is because the exchange of information over the internet creates a copy of a file that can in turn be copied again. It is therefore very difficult to exchange anything of value using traditional internet tools. So, even though the human race has gone digital, we still rely on intermediaries like banks and governments and other large organisations to verify exchanges of value and to keep trusted records of the same. However, as we've seen, blockchain provides a new trust platform and will increasingly allow value as well as information to be exchanged online on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. In the future, widely distributed chains of cryptographically linked blocks of data may therefore replace traditional intermediaries with potentially far-reaching implications. Given the current state of the world, many people are keen to place their trust in something other than a country, or a bank, or another legacy institution. Over the next 10 years, a great many human systems may therefore come to rely on blockchain ledgers. Certainly, blockchain looks set to be a key driver of digital transformation, and to become a very disruptive computing technology indeed. But now that's it for another video. If you enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.